Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to some more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's video, we are going to be checking out the Car Crusher 3.0. That is right, guys. So if you don't already know about the Car Crusher builds, I have some links in the description for the original Car Crusher as well as Car Crusher 2.0. They were a lot of fun to make. Uh, but one thing that is noted in those builds is I couldn't crush cars. So we got the piston update now. I've made a very special car for this very special Car Crusher. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so we are gonna check it all out We're gonna play around with it and see what it's all about And then I'll break it down a little bit more and show you guys kind of like the creative process behind this one So let's get right into it Alright, so to start off we are gonna quickly check out this forklift here that I kind of modified Because this is actually the forklift that I used in the multiplayer Monday forklift challenge Which I kicked butt in by the way, so you should definitely go check that out um, but it was a lot of fun. I ended up modifying it quite a bit for this build here. So we can kind of just hop into the seat here and you can see uh, it's relatively simple. It has the rear wheel steering there as well. But it does have some extremely wide forks and I was I needed that to actually be able to pick up those cars over there. So it has a couple features though. We can lift it up just one block off the ground. We can lift it up much higher if we wanted to maybe bring it on top of a truck or something. And then we can also bring it back down and tilt the forks back just a little bit like that, just enough to make sure things don't fall off. And it also has some like piston extenders here. Uh, so I didn't want to make those extensions too long because the pistons don't currently have any collisions. So if I did that, um, it's uh, if it was too long, then the, the cars would just fall right through. So it's short enough that the cars just kind of don't go anywhere. Uh, so it's a lot of fun, guys. This is a pretty simple forklift, though, as you can see. Uh, but we can actually go and try and grab one of these cars now, and we are going to bring it into the car crusher. So let's just get right into this here. Let's, uh, I think I got to tilt the forks down like that, okay. Uh, it's kind of finicky to drive. Here we go, line it up to that left wheel. Perfect. Alright, so we got the forklift in just like that. We do not need to worry about extending those pistons just yet, but we can press the one key there and the three key to tilt it up. Alright, here we go. Let's bring it on over to the car crusher now. Just over this way here, pop it down right there, tilt the forks back down, and slides away no problem. So this is a, a pretty neat forklift. Uh, one thing I will mention though guys is it is using the modded super heavy blocks because the cars are all made of metal there so the, the forklift was tipping over all the time so it's extremely heavy, it's very difficult to tip over. Alright so here we go, we got the car inside of the car crusher so let's just have a quick look here at the car crusher. Uh, you can see it has like a massive kind of hammer on the top there which helps push it down. Uh, if you use your imagination, of course, um, and it's kind of just bolted up together here. I'm really happy with the overall design, though. It is kind of in the same style as the original Car Crusher, which is what I was going for. So we have the car inside here right now, so I guess the only thing left to do, guys, is uh, man the console right here and crush that car. So let's do it, shall we? All right, here we go. In three, two, one, crush the car. All right, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> So, the car has been crushed. Now, this is something that the other car crushers just couldn't do, guys. I always had to kind of make these little tricks and stuff or some funny editing to make it kind of make some sense. Um, so, this was the first time I was actually able to create something that was, I mean, kind of actually crushing the car. So, we could actually just manually press that switch right there, and as you can see, it goes right back up again, no problem, and we now have a flattened vehicle. Look at that. So we can actually just make our way back over to this forklift here and lift our forks up off of the ground and just line ourselves up. And so this is where the, the extension for the pistons comes in handy because when the car is crushed, I'm not going to lie, it, it does actually get pretty wide. All right, so there we go. We can pick up the car, though, just like this. And we can bring it on over to the crushed car pile zone here. So let's kind of make our way over here. Trying our best to not run into things and not drop the car. Alright, here we go. Right about here. So let's just kind of uh, press the three key to tilt the forks. One to go back down and bring those forks back in. There we go. Alright, so we got one car crushed. Alright guys, I'm loving this. I have a feeling we need to crush some more cars, and I've got my eyes 
on this yellow one right here. All right, here we go. Our forks are good. I am gonna try and get this car. Here we go, perfect. And this is actually relatively simple to use, and it's very easy. I'm not having too hard of a time here getting under these cars. All right, so we're just gonna kind of do a little three point, four point, okay, maybe five point turn. And then we're gonna make our way back to the car crusher. All right, here we go. Get that right back in about here. Okay, tilt the forks back down and drive away. So obviously, guys, I have a few different colored vehicles here that all are using the same design principles for crushing the cars. So let's just pop that button here to get a bit of a closer look. Oh, man, that is so satisfying. All right, we just crushed another car. Let's open that up. Hop back in the forklift here. All right, perfect. So we can pick up this car, guys. And the final car, when I show you guys that one, that is where I will kind of explain a little bit more about what is going on. So let's uh, bring this over to the pile here. I'm I'm guessing it's probably going to lag actually. So you know what? I'm actually not going to put it on top of that one. I'm just going to bring it off to the side here. We could probably actually just very easily ditch this. Let's just pretend like we didn't need that. There we go. All right. So that car has been crushed and it is now over there. So let's just get a little bit of a closer look at this car before we crush it, and we'll kind of see what kind of magic is happening there. So as you can see guys, it is a relatively simple car. I do not have any like steering or any drive capabilities on the inside of it. I was thinking of doing that, but I was like, you know what, these need to be as lag free as possible. So I can get the connection tool out and you can see that there is quite a bit going on in here as far as kind of like the controller and the bearings go. And that is because everything is operated by a sensor on the top here. So if I can hop on top of the car, you can see there's a sensor right there. So we can actually trigger that and you can actually get an idea of what is actually happening here so let's just kind of hop up on top here and we will just quickly walk over this sensor and everything will take action so there we go you can now see that this is what the crushed car looks like so everything kind of opens up uh, the doors kind of flatten out the wheels on the uh, bottom side here those actually flatten out as well and the roof is attached to a piston that actually brings it down as well so we can easily just pop over this sensor again and you can see there's the piston right there so what's happening is as the piston is lowering this controller activates right here which kind of flattens everything else out as well uh, so it's definitely very possible only because of the piston without the piston it would be a lot bulkier and a lot more difficult to do so I was actually able to maintain it kind of like a car so I can show you guys what it's like to put it on a lift actually and uh, and actually see what it's like to pop it from its original position. So right here, I can put it right here and you can see this is what it's gonna do. So it actually just spawns like that and it forms itself into a car. Uh, so how about we grab this forklift one last time here guys and bring it on over to the car crusher just for good measure here. We need to make sure that this car is crushed. All right, here we go. I, I think I can bring those pistons back in right there actually and pick it up, tilt it back and we can reverse our way to the car crusher. Ooh, just missed that fence, perfect. All right, here we go. We are bringing the final car to the car crusher. Let's see what happens. All right, drop it down right like that and back away, backing away from the car crusher. All right, there we go. So. What I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna crush it, and you're guys, you guys are gonna see what it can actually do uh, in the reverse. So here we go. The final car is being crushed. Perfect. And this is the funny part here. So we can actually lift it up, obviously, like we were doing before. And we can actually push it back down again, and watch this. So it's gonna touch the car, press the switch again, and there we go, look! We now have a reverse car crusher, guys. We can take crushed cars and turn them into normal cars. <laughs> Anyway, so that's basically what this car crusher is about, guys. You can see it's a lot of fun. It's probably, like, the most interactive creation I have ever made, to be honest with you. Uh, it's, it's something that I really wanted to be able to achieve ever since I made that first car crusher. I was like, you know what? I really want to see cars actually getting crushed in this game. So obviously, though, there are no destruction physics as of yet, but I'm sure maybe one day we might have the uh, the privilege of seeing some really cool creations that can actually 
kind of destroy themselves. Alright, so there's another thing I wanted to mention as well about this car crusher, and that is that you can also just pop it down on the lift like this. There's plenty of room for your vehicle to easily slide inside of it. And once it's inside, there's something else I wanted to show you guys. So obviously though, we can do the fancy crushing of the car like so, and we can raise it back up like we were doing before. But there was another way that you can actually remove the vehicle, and you can come over to this side right here, and you can press this yellow switch, and there we go, it actually pushes out the entire rear wall, and we can bring it back in. So you can actually bring the car down onto the ground floor here, and this is just pretty much so that you can bring the forklift with its forks all the way on the ground, rather than having them lifted up. Uh, so obviously though, this forklift is versatile enough that it doesn't really matter, because you can do it either way. Uh, but I just wanted to make it so that maybe if you guys had a different forklift, or who knows what, you could do it whichever way you saw fit. So let's try and, uh, we're gonna try and pick this up, there we go, and uh, maybe, I really do actually want to try and stack some of these on top of each other, so let's just do that uh, as a kind of uh, final tester here. So I think this fork is gonna have to be risen quite a bit, like so, and you can actually see it. Oh man, this is a lot of weight. Okay, be careful here. This forklift is barely capable of su sustaining the weight on the forks here. All right, so I think we're just about on top like this. So let's lower it down and then drive away. Oh, <laughs> I totally forgot that if I put that car on top of it, it would uncrush the other car. <laughs> Now we have, uh, I guess it's a, an uncrushed car wearing a crushed car as a hat. So there you go guys, we've got a really cool forklift with extendable forks here that can pick up these really nifty cars that we can actually crush that's using the new piston. It's got a controller with so many bearings to flatten it out. And of course guys, we have the Car Crusher 3.0 and I'm so happy with this build. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this one as well as enjoyed the video. So of course guys, if you did enjoy the video or the build, make sure you hit that like button. It'll definitely let me know you guys are ready for more endless scrap mechanic and if you do want more endless scrap mechanic then of course make sure you hit that subscribe button because that is what we got going on the channel here is endless scrap mechanic so I'll be leaving you guys with that one thank you so much for tuning in and if you don't mind me guys I am going to kind of hang out here and keep crushing cars so I will be seeing you in the next one so bye for now